everyone has driven down a dirt road at some point in their lives and seen all the dust and particles that fly up into the air. But what if I told you those dust and particles could cause a lot of harm? There is one kind of sand that could cause harm just like this. That kind of sand is called frac sand. Frac sand affects the areas around the mines. So today I'll be talking to you about how frac sand affects the environment and how better legislation can solve this. But first, what is frac sand? Frac sand is mined from sandstone near the Earth's surface, and but chemically it is just very pure quartz mineral that is broken down into very tiny particles to be used in the oil mining industry. Most of the nation's frac sand is found in southwestern Minnesota and in western Wisconsin. First, I'll talk about how frac sand affects the environment. The first way it affects the environment is through air pollution. Air pollution is the main cause of frac sand because all the particles from the dust get up in the air and if you breathe it in, it can cause a lot of harm. This can happen at any point during the mining process, whether it be during mining, transportation, or during the refinement process. According to Nell Greenfield, a science correspondent for NPR in 2013, she said that silicosis is the number one disease caused by frac sand in the air. Frac sand, according to the American Lung Association, in 2017 was the inhalation of dust particles in the lungs, which causes scarring in the lungs and can lead to difficulty breathing, chest pain, and shortness of breath. And it can even lead to lung cancer if you're continually exposed to it. Another source of air pollution from these mines is through car and machine emissions because they have to use a lot of machinery in order to get the mine out of the ground. And that is very harmful to the environment, as we all know. The next issue is on water pollution in from the mine sites. Chem according to Earthworks, a nonprofit organization that specializes in the environment, they said that many frac sand companies use chemicals in order to clean off the sand to get it ready for the oil mining industry. The most common, which the most common chemical is polycarmaldehyde according to the WLCV, a Wisconsin conservation group, in 2014. These chemicals, once they get into the groundwater, can change into a carcinogen, which can greatly affect the people that ingest the water. And since most mines are located in very rural areas, and there's, so there's a lot of wells around, and so the, that is a, a huge problem in the areas. And but also, it can get into streams and affect animals that drink from these streams and lakes. Another problem from frac sand mining is the huge amount of water used in the mining process. According to Jeffrey Heedman from the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency, in 2012, he stated that some mines use up to 400,000 gallons of water every single day. This can have a great impact on the groundwater in the area. It can cause streams and nearby wells to run dry, which will greatly affect the people and animals that need these wells in order to survive and live their lives. Many mines have high capacity wells. A high capacity well is a well that is defined as a well that can pump up to 70 gallons of water a minute. This is a huge amount of water and can greatly affect the groundwater in the area. Now that I've talked about the problems of frac sand, I will talk about how better legislation can solve this. Legislation is a simple and easy way to fix the problems frac sand causes. According to Scott Gord, from the Wisconsin Public Radio, he stated that there is no federal and many states don't have state laws that will help protect the environment from frac sand mining. If we were to strengthen these laws, a lot of the problems associated with, fr with frac sand would be solved. A way to solve the frac sand problem would be through the monitoring of air particles in the air. All mines would have to do is simply monitor the amount of dust matter in the air and if it got to a dangerous amount, just stop mining and allow the dust to settle in order to protect the workers and the people living in the surrounding area. Another legislation, legislation law that would help would be the requirement of better holding ponds for the contaminated water that is used in the mining process. Many of the mines hold the, their used water in contamination ponds to allow the dust and chemicals to, set it, to settle to the bottom in order to make the water pure again. But many of these ponds can leak, and that is how chemicals are getting into the groundwater in the surrounding area. If these ponds were held to a higher standard, then this wouldn't be such a huge problem. 
A way to help the land recover from the mining process would be is called reclamation. Reclamation is the process of making the land usable again after the mine has been officially closed and they're no longer mining there. What they do is they fill in the mine site with, with usable materials such as high quality dirt in order to make the land safe again for the environment. And then they'd plant local veg vegetation over the top of it in order to make it safe. This would make the land usable again and would stop the mine from causing, causing further harm on the environment. Today I've talked about how the environment is affected from, by frac sand and how better legislation can solve it. Frac sand causes a huge amount of burden on the environment around the mine. If without these legislation laws, the area around the mine would just be like a dirt road, dusty and unusable.